Hey YouTubers, welcome back. John here with uh, your update. You know, some days are good days, some days not so good. Uh, today we rode the struggle bus a little bit, turned the heat on, had my coffee, had every intention of conquering the world, had a whole list of to-dos, and just didn't happen. You know, um, well let me show you what we got done. We did manage last week to get everything welded in, got our reliefs cut for our tie rods, excellent, put the tires on and measured for our four inch clearance. We nailed it, we got four and an eighth in the back, four and three sixteenths in the front, really happy with that. Our axles are within a sixteenth of being perpendicular to each other, again, happy with that. Came out here, wanted to get the fenders and running boards done. The running boards, if you can remember from the last video, we went and welded one of the carriage bolts in as studs. Worked like a charm. Everything bolted up. The fenders bolted up. And then I was going to just make some pie cuts and just kind of fold the fenders out, fold the sheet metal out a little bit. And I really didn't like the way it looked. You know, I, I fooled with it, messed with it, and cut with it. And as you can see on the floor, there's plenty of grinding grit from today. This floor was swept earlier. Um, so let me show you what I am happy with. And that is this. So they're about one inch from the crease. The angles match the original angles. I have another set of fenders outside. I got a whole other parts rig that I used to make sure that the angles were correct. Um, pretty happy with it. We do have the, it won't sit in the stock location. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's, there's a couple of blocks in there holding the fender up off of the original fender bracket. I'm probably going to go maybe another quarter inch or so to, oops, sorry, I dropped the camera. Um, to make sure we have enough tire clearance. I'm um, shooting for a half inch. Today's tools, pretty pretty light on the tools. Vice grips, grinder, cutoff wheel, scissors and cardboard templates. Again, I made a lot of paper dolls today. A lot of, it's easier to cut it um, and shape it to a piece of cardboard than to cut it and shape it, cut it and shape it, and cut it and shape it. And that's really the moral of today's story, right? You're building something from inside your head. You, you, you've you got the hay mow and you've got videos out there of people building it. And sometimes it doesn't go according to plan. And that's okay. You know, this is, this is a custom build. Custom builds take time. Custom builds take patience. Um, if you've got any questions, you know, drop, drop a comment. I'm more than happy to take other pictures if you need it. I had one guy reach out to me about wheels. I took, I, Send them all the information I had on the wheel and tire combination we're, we're using. Um, met another guy today uh, at the local Toro dealer who was interested in building one. So we'll see. Uh, maybe it'll be infectious. Um, till next time, we'll see you later.